All right, guys, we, we played hard there for a while. We thought we had a chance, but I just, again... I, I, the play calling got a little suspect for me also again in that game. And somebody they were in the live chat they were talking about we should throw the ball because I was like run 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 punt run 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 just run. Why? Because the worst thing that can happen if you keep on running the ball and you hold on the ball is you punt and you make them have to go farther for a score. That's the worst thing that can happen with a run. When you pass Things that can happen, you can uh, stop the clock and give the ball, 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 ball back with, uh, with your defense not getting a breath. You know, you can uh, throw an interception. Uh, you can uh, incomplete and you get, have to kick the ball anyway. So there's a whole lot of things that can go wrong when you're passing the ball and less things that can go wrong when you're running the ball. So when you have a, a quarterback like Brandon Whedon, you don't put the game in his hands for any reason whatsoever. The dude was cut by the Cleveland Browns. You don't put the game in his hands. People were saying we have a chance in this game if we ride Murray. No, we didn't ride Murray. We put a lot into Brandon Whedon's hands when we really didn't have to. And then what do you do? And I was like, well, it shocked me. And for a second, I was like, yeah, go. And I was like, whoa, that wasn't very smart. When we went for it on fourth and one with De DeMarco, when we had three points, there was no way they were going to block another kick. He would have hit that field goal. He would have hit that field goal. So why would you just, 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 just run the ball right in the middle of the field, do nothing else, and, and you saw them collapsing in, no audibles, you ran right into the teeth of their defense, and we got nothing. So stuff like that really, really, really hurts. I'm going to touch one thing before I leave this game. And it's, it's, it's Brandon Whedon. Why, oh, why, oh, why did we have to have him to back up Tony Romo? Why did we not at least try to invest in a quarterback we can put behind Tony Romo in case something like this happens? You can screw up. Everything that we've made so far with this team, if we have to roll with a quarterback like Brandon Whedon or something even possibly worse in the future without Tony Romo. There has been zero preparation for life without Romo when you know Romo has been hurting his back over and over and over. What kind of general manager does that? The thing you did to prepare, oh, let's give Whedon more snaps in, in practice. That'll help. No, because it's still Whedon. I'm not here bashing on Whedon. Whedon is Whedon. For every touchdown, he gives you interception. He's 50% completion percentage. That's who he is. So once you know who he is, why do you put the game on his back instead of your running back's back? And if you lose on your running back's back, so what? So what? But my issue here is why haven't we effectively backed up Tony Romo? And the reason I have an issue here with this is because this, if Romo doesn't come back, if Romo doesn't come back like Romo before, if, 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 if this is three injuries on his back, I don't care if they're not related, it's still his back like Romo, like, like uh, Eggman was saying. It's still his back. So it can still cause a lot of problems back there. And then lastly, his wife, his kids. I just had a kid. I ain't going to risk my life because I need to take care of my kid. I mean, this is not war. Tony Romo's not going to protect the country. If he's, if the rest of his life is in jeopardy, man, can thank you for all your that you did for the Dallas Cowboys. Go be a dad and a husband for the rest of your life. Don't end up not being able to walk or pick up your kids. Stuff like that. It's not your fault, Tony Romo, that the team refused to back you up. It's not your fault the team, listen to me now, was rude <laughs> to Cal <Kyle> Orton. <laughs> and let Cal Orton go over to Buffalo because, honestly, with Orton, Orton is a quarterback that can get some stuff done in the NFL as he's doing right now. 
He's not as good as Romo, not as good as Romo, not as good as Romo, but he can play the game on this level, and he has shown he can play on the game on this level. Whedon has shown that he, at best, can be a bus driver uh, a quarterback. So let me go see what's going on. The girl is screaming in there. She know I'm making a video. She's screaming, so hopefully the Vikings have won. All right, holla at you. Peace.